Hello, I'm Art Forster in the ACC Office of Public and Congressional Affairs. With me this morning is Dr. Carol Lohman, the new Executive Director of Army Contracting Command. Hello, Ms. Lohman. Good morning. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and more specifically, what prompted you to become a contracting officer? Well, I'm afraid it's something of an uninspired story. We were an Army family uh, living in Fort Ritchie, Maryland. And I had actually applied for a job on the Hill, and I, and I got a job offer. But it was just a bridge too far. That commute was too far. Uh, my kids were still little, and I needed to stay at home. So I went on post, and I said, what do you have? And they said, either contracting or personnel. And I said, I'll take contracting. But I consider that uh, I think there was some divine intervention there, because it's just been such a good fit for me. It's a very challenging field. And there's a lot of career opportunity. I remember when I started, I grew up in Forcecom contracting. We only had one GS-14 in, in our organization. She was the leader. And she was the only GS-14. Um, now, we currently have nine SESs in the ACC and many 14 and 15 positions. And uh, fate intervened, and it's been a good thing for me. Dr. Lohman, you've been the ACC deputy for about two years now. How are your responsibilities going to change as you move to the director's chair? Well, on the continuum between implementing and leading, I think I will move a little more out of the operational and into the strategic vision side. I think there's a little more external focus to Congress, to DOD, to AMC headquarters, and to our external customers. Um, I also think that there's more interaction with the general public uh, in the form of events and public speaking. Um, and finally, uh, when I came to the ACC, Mr. Parsons and I sat down and we decided that he would be the outside guy and I would be the inside girl. And I think that about sums it up. Ma'am, what are your personal goals? What do you hope to achieve as our director? Well, Art, I hope to focus on the workforce. That will be the number one priority. And I hope to be able to enable them to do the best job they can and to grow with the command to take good care of the soldier. Additionally, I hope to continue the momentum that Mr. Parsons started with the Grow the Acquisition Workforce and the Enhanced Contract Management Concept Plan. And finally, I'd like to continue gaining some ground in making contracting a core competency of the Army, as we were asked to do in the Gansler Commission report. Ma'am, with budget cuts on the horizon, do you expect the command to continue to grow so that it can spread its expertise throughout the Army? You know, thanks to Mr. Parson's leadership and his exceptional efforts, I do believe we will continue to grow. Um, we've had tremendous support from General Dunwoody, our AMC commander, and General Corelli, the Vice Chief of Staff of the Army. Both of them truly understand the issues that we have in our community. We work very closely with the Assault, the DASAP, and the Army staff to get a brief in front of the Secretary of the Army to explain our situation to him and ask him to enable us to grow our workforce. Um, the final documents are still in process, but he does support our position, and I do believe we will grow. Now, this is an austere time. We have budget difficulties, and we really have to be very sensitive to the fact that the Army itself has a mandate to uh, decrease the civilian workforce at this point in time. So I think we need to grow very responsibly, and I also think we have to look for efficiencies wherever we can garner them. Dr. Lohman, what do you like to do in your spare time? Well, I've been a runner for 35 years, and I hope to be able to continue that practice. My daughter's recently called and asked me to run a half marathon with her this year, so I'm building up the miles. Uh, my running goal is to run the Peachtree Road Race when I'm 80 and then never run again, and I'm not kidding. I am a gardener, and um, I have a new yard to play in, so I have been checking out those catalogs, and I have a lot of green children that I am expecting to arrive on my doorstep very soon. But I think the most important thing uh, has to do with the family. Uh, since we've moved to Huntsville eight weeks ago, we've been to Atlanta four times for family events. Three of the kids have already been here to visit, and another one's coming next week. Um, we will have the whole crew for Thanksgiving this year, and we have a very special event planned for Christmas Day when we are expecting our fifth grandchild. Oh, congratulations. We will, thank you. And we will be waiting in Atlanta, I assure you. Dr. Lohman, is there anything else you'd like to say to the men and women of the command? Well, I would say that it's such an honor to be able to lead our amazing folks. 
Um, just considering what we do every September when we obligate sometimes up to 25% of our annual budget, uh, it's just mind-boggling. I would tell our folks that people notice uh, what we do. People acknowledge how important our contribution is and people appreciate our efforts. Leaders often get a lot of credit uh, for the accomplishments of an organization, but in reality, a leader is just one person. The ACC is 5,700 people strong. I think it's very humbling to think that people look up to me. In reality, I look up to them. Finally, I think of military and civil service as a worthy calling and a worthy life effort. And I'd like to thank our folks for what they do every day. They've certainly helped out the soldiers, and they're better off due to our efforts. Thank you very much.